Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from flamelinevisualeffects.com and welcome to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. Today we are create a very exciting tutorial, so let's see what we will create today. In this tutorial, I am using third party plugin called Trapcode Particular. If you don't have the plugin, you can download the free trial version from link in the description box below. One more thing, if you want more tutorials like this one, so please subscribe my channel, hit the red subscribe button. Okay, so let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Go to composition, new composition and let's call it uh, logo animation. And I'm going with 1280 720p frame rate 30 and duration make it 10 seconds. Then click on OK. Okay, now add our logo. You can also use text if you want. The process is the same for both logo and text. Now select the logo and place this in your timeline. Then press S to open scale and make it 60%. As my logo is big, so I made it a little smaller. Okay, now right click on it and choose pre compose and select leave all attributes and rename it to logo then click on ok again right click on it and choose pre compose and select leave all attributes and rename it to logo emitter then click on ok now make this layer 3d if you don't see the 3d button simply click here ok now double click on this layer now select the logo layer and then go to toolbar and select rectangle tool and create a rectangle shape like this and then go to around 20 frame and click on this arrow icon and set a keyframe on max path then go to around five and a half seconds then press V to select selection tool and double click on max path and move it something like this now max feather set it 70 ok perfect ok now go to logo animation comp and then go to project window and select logo comp and place this in timeline and then press s and make this same 60 percent okay now select logo layer and then go to effect transition and click on linear whip then go to effect and control panel and transition completion set it 100 and whip angle set it 180 degree okay now go to around one and a half seconds and set a keyframe on transition completion then go to around 5 seconds and transition completion set it 0 and feather set it 40% ok now turn off visibility of this layer now we are create a particles so right click new and click on solid and rename it to particular and make this black and click on ok then go to effect and preset window and search for particular then select the effect and apply onto this particle layer
okay now click on emitter emitter per second set it to five zero 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 and emitter type set it layer and velocity set it two two zero then velocity random set it 62 velocity distribution set is 0 0.2 and velocity from motion set it 20 then click on layer emitter and layer set it logo emitter and layer sampling set it particle bath time and layer rgb usage set it rgb particle color okay now click on particle and particle life per second set it 1.4 and life random set it 100 and spear feather set it 0 and size set it 3 and size randomness set it 100 and opacity random set it 40 and then click on size over life then click on preset and choose second preset and then click on opacity over life and click on preset and choose second preset okay now click on shading then shadow let for main turn on shadow let for ox turn on then click on shadow let setting and opacity set it 4 then adjust side set it 120 and adjust distance set it 80 okay now click on physics and gravity set it minus 50 and then click on air and air resistance set it 1 and wind y set it minus 53 then click on turbulence field and effect position set it 200 and fade in time set it 0 0.1 and scale set it 12 okay now go to rendering and then click on motion blur and turn on motion blur perfect now select the particle layer and then go to effect blur and sharpen and choose sharpen and sharpen amount set it 50 perfect okay now press 0 to ramp preview this wow it's look pretty awesome Our particle logo animation is ready. Now we are create a background. So go to composition, new composition and let's call it main. And this time I'm going with 1920 by 1080p frame rate 30 and duration 10 seconds. Then click on OK. OK, let's add our background. You can download this file from link in the description box below. Now select the background and place this in timeline. Then press P to open position. Then hold down Alt and click on this stopwatch. And type expression wiggle first bracket 0.7 comma 20 then bracket close and click on enter. Now you can see that our background is moving around randomly. Okay, now go to project window and select fog layer and place this in your timeline and put it above the background layer and change the layer mode to screen. Perfect. Okay, again go to project window 
and select our logo animation comp and place this in your timeline then go to beginning of this animation and press S to open scale and set a keyframe on scale and set it 150 then go to end of this animation and scale set it 130 now you can see a nice zoom out effect okay now right click new and create a black solid layer and then select the layer and go to toolbar and select ellipse tool and double click on it then change the max mode to subtract and press F to open max feather and max feather set it maybe 230 then select the max point and move it like this okay again create a new solid layer right click new and click on solid and rename it to mask and make it black then click on ok now go to toolbar and select rectangle tool and double click on it then double click on max path and hold down alt control and drag then change the max mode to subtract okay now press 0 to ramp preview Wow, it's look really awesome. Select the logo animation layer and press down arrow key to make it center. Perfect. Okay, let's add our background audio. You can download this audio clip from link in the description box below. Then select the audio layer and place it anywhere in your timeline. Ram preview this and your animation is ready. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Have a nice day.